Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today we are making the most popular cabbage recipe in China. That will be Shou Si Bao Cai. Bao Cai is a cabbage. Shou Si means ripped apart by hand. <laughs> I'll explain that later. This is literally a stir fry cabbage recipe, but it is so basic. And popular that if you ask any Chinese, they'll know about this dish. Period. First, let's talk about the cabbage because I want to show you two different kinds. This one I got it from Publix. As you can see, it's more like a ball shape, and it is much heavier in weight because the leaves are compact tightly. This one I got it from an Asian market. It's a little bit flat. And it is light in weight because the leaves are loose. You can compare the inside structure; they look so different. Both are completely fine to use for this recipe. They will come out equally delicious. But if you want to match the name. You know the stir fry cabbage that are torn apart by hand. <laughs> you will want to use the Asian type as it is much easier to tear apart. The regular one is just too tight to work with your hand. You will have to cut it with a knife. Let me show you how to shou si bao cai. I'm only using half of this cabbage. It is a little bit less than one and a half pound after I remove the hard center stem. Grab each side of the cabbage with your hand and break it apart. Tear all the pieces into smaller sides. This way, you can get the jagged edges. I think it helps the flavor to infuse into the cabbage. I picked out some hard stems. You can slice them up and cook with them, or discard them. Up to you. Besides the cabbage. You will also need some garlic. Slice them thinly. Eight to ten pieces of red dried chilies, just to get a little touch of hot feeling. Cut them into half-inch pieces. Remove the seeds so it's not too spicy. That's it. Let's start cooking. Heat up your wok. Add some vegetable oil. Toss it around to cover the bottom of the wok. Add the cabbage along with the garlic and the red dried chilies. It looks overwhelming for now. Once the cabbage is wilted down, it will be a reasonable amount. You do need a proper wok for this, so you can have enough room to stir fry the cabbage. If you're interested in this wok that I'm using, you can click the link in the description down below this video. I like to cook this on high heat to get some nice char. It will taste like roasted cabbage. You can also cook this on medium heat, so it will turn out a bit softer. It really depends on your own preference, because you can just eat cabbage raw. Once you think it is almost at the point that you like, add some salt to taste and two teaspoons of soy sauce. Here is one and a half tablespoon of Chinese black vinegar. I will only add some of it and reserve half tablespoon for later. This is the vinegar that I'm using. The package will say Chen Chu or Xiang Chu. If you don't have it, balsamic vinegar is a decent replacement. Continue to stir for a minute. Turn off the heat. Before taking it out of the wok, add the remaining black vinegar. This will stabilize the flavor because the acid we add before evaporated a little bit during cooking. There are lots of people that hate cabbage because it has a strong component of taste. I love it though, and I think the slight bitterness from the cabbage goes really well with the Chinese black vinegar. Sometimes, if I don't feel good or I get homesick, I'll make this dish and serve it with white rice. You probably would say. It's just cabbage. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with stir fry cabbage. Maybe I'm just so deeply in touch with this flavor because I grew up with it. I hope you give this a try soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any episode. 
New videos coming out every Wednesday. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.